Hello. Hello. Hi. Say hello. Say wow. Say agua. Say agua. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jelka if you're new here and if you're a subscriber and a follower, thank you for joining me in this video. My daughter is in the background as you guys can hear. Um, she's sick and I'm sick. So we're both getting over whatever, what we had. It's been a struggle for this past week and it's, you know, it's just this time of year. So I sound like this. I sound like a man. I sound raspy. I sound like I've been smoking for like 50 years, which I've never touched a cigarette in my life. Um, it's just I'm under the weather and she is too. Um, I did this look for you guys. This is a pink glitter cut crease something different that I haven't done on my channel and I really don't go for pinks I really go for oranges reds maroons browns nudes so I'm trying to get over my or I'm trying to get out of my comfort zone and obviously on this channel we do not match our outfits with our eyes what's new um, but I'm glad that you guys are here today and my daughter is watching me from the camera um, I'm glad that you guys are here today, and if you guys like this look, then please keep on watching. Alright guys, so I sound a little funny because I'm sick. I told you guys this, um, in my intro. But, um, but I started with one eye as usual. I wanted to do something easy, kind of fun. I don't think I've done pink on my channel so far. Um, so, the palette I'm gonna use today is the P. Louise, the Secret Sinner palette. And my lighting's a little bit off. Um, I don't, I broke my box lighting so my daughter and I broke up my box lighting and then um, I'm just working with what I got. Did prime with my P. Louise base in Rumor 2. I don't know if I set this eye, but you know that it creases on me so we're going to use our beauty blender to blend out the creases and I'm going to set it a little bit with um, a little bit of translucent powder this powder is like dirty but this is the Ciate London extraordinary translucent powder that I'm gonna be using this is what I use on my face on a daily basis and I'm just gonna grab a little bit on just a fluffy blending brush god my voice sounds horrible and my daughter's been really sick too so I've been like I've been like going through it, you know, T trying to take care of her while she's sick and I'm sick and trying to work on top of that. And, and I haven't been exercising because I've just been so exhausted, but I have been, you know, eating right. I'm doing like my meal, my meal prep. So yeah, little life update. It's that time of year, you know? first brush I'm gonna take is a Morphe M514 brush and my brushes are gonna be dirty because I already used it on this eye already as you guys all should know oh my god I hate my balloon so this palette is like really bulky and big but this is like a I love this palette this is like a like a collector's item I guess the first shade that I'm gonna use is this shade right here it's called rendezvous and this is gonna be my transition shade and I'm gonna lightly, I'm gonna use a different technique than the one that I always use. I usually pack on the darkest shade and then I start blending it out. This time we're going to just blend out the colors as we go and not pack on as much of the color. So first I'm just gonna make sure that my eye base didn't crease and it still creases a little even though I set it just a tad. I didn't wanna set it all the way rendezvous and I'm going to just put this all over my crease this is gonna be my transition shake base oh my god guys I can't believe I'm doing this video sick like this but 
I just feel like I just wanted to be pretty. Today's my day off and it's been a struggle like making it to work and taking care of a sick child and I hate missing work and I hate being late and I've just been, you know, like when you're sick you look dead and I don't want to look dead anymore so we're just going to put this all over the crease. And make sure your hand is at the bottom of the brush. You'll get like the lightest touch. And we're gonna do swirling and winch, was it windshield wiper? Moving motions. And you know, on this channel, we never match our outfits with our eye looks, obviously. You know, when I do these videos, it's on my day off. I'm not really going anywhere, so I don't really need to like match. Even if I do go somewhere, I don't really need I don't really care if I don't match. And make sure you blend the shadow all the way up to the, not all the way up to the brown bowl, but like make sure that it fades out. That makes sense. Next, I'm taking a Makeup Shack T63 brush. Like I said, it's gonna be dirty. And we are taking this shade right here called Pleasure. We're just gonna use this color to deepen up that crease shade. Then I'm going to go back in with the first brush that we used, the Morphe M514 brush. And just make sure that everything is blended and really soft. My next brush is going to be a Makeup Shack T45 brush. And we're going to go in this shade right here called Hooked. Slightly put it in your crease to kind of blend it. And make sure you go back in with the previous shade pleasure and make sure that you didn't lose any of that color and then you're gonna go in with the first brush and that shade rendezvous just lightly pick up some or don't pick up any at all kind of like go over and just make sure everything's blended Then I'm gonna take a concealer to cut my crease. You can grab any concealer of your choice that you like. I'm using the Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer. This is in the shade C1. And I'm just using a flat concealer brush. Um, this is uh, like the always, I always use this brush. This is from like an old Amazon makeup brush kit that I got like years ago. So we're only cutting half of the crease. I'm gonna take my beauty blender and I'm just going to make sure that there's no creases and like any access product just kind of not running around everywhere because my lid loves to crease so I'm gonna take the last brush that we used was the makeup shack t45 brush and I'm gonna grab the last shade that we used hooked and I'm going to use that to blend that outer corner or that concealer that cut crease whatever you want to call it really <laughs> the cut crease with the eyeshadow so there's no like harsh line and make sure we don't lose that shade in the, the outer corner as well Also gonna grab the second brush that we used, the Makeup Shack T36, and grab that shade Pleasure. And just take this, because my cut crease kind of ended weird. I'm just gonna take this up a little. Make sure that blends as well, so there's no harsh lines. 
And then I'm gonna take the first brush that we use. This is the Morphe M514. Grab the first shade, Rendezvous. Just like tap it really lightly. And just go over, make sure we didn't lose any color. Everything's blended. This looks so beautiful. Sorry. My viewfinder keeps on going in and out, so can't really see if I'm like in frame for you guys. So I don't know if some people set their concealer or don't set the concealer. I do because my eyelid does crease. So I'm gonna grab the Ciate London Extraordinary Translucent Powder that we use to set our base. And I'm gonna use that to set the concealer in place with the same fluffy like blending brush. First, you gotta make sure that there's no, you gotta make sure that there's no creases to begin with so you're not setting any creases in place. So either go in with the concealer brush that you use to cut the crease or go in with a beauty sponge and then you take that translucent powder and you just put it on the eyelid once that is done you can either leave the eye as is which is really pretty really nice pink cut crease or you could add a little something. I wanted to add a little bit of glitter. So what I did use is my NYX Handy Dandy. This is my favorite glitter primer. Sorry, the packaging is dirty. I'm not done it. So I use this all the time with glitter. It never fails me. So I'm just gonna put some on the back of my hand. And I'm gonna use a like magenta purplish color. And I'm going to use a red color and I'm going to mix them together. I bought these from Sally's a really, really long time ago. And I think they're nail glitters. I'm not sure. Um, but make sure any glitter that you use on your eye doesn't get into the eye because you don't want it to scratch um, the cornea or anything important in there. And I'm grabbing like a really small dome brush. This is the Luxie Mini Round Brush. This is a one for one mini round brush. <coughs> excuse me hopefully that's the only cough that's going to be in the video i'm going to grab the glue and i'm just going to put it right where i guess the cut crease and the eyeshadow meet i'm going to grab a little bit of that purple make sure you tap the access off because you don't want glitter everywhere and i'm going to lightly start pressing this where I put the glitter or at the adhesive I would try to be really really light-handed wipe and I'm just wiping the brush off and then I'm gonna dip into the red lightly tap and mix them together what I'm gonna do as usual is do my eyelashes my face makeup and I'm gonna come back and do the lower lash line with you guys so I'll see you guys in a quick second all right guys so my face is done my lashes are on and my lips are on basically everything's done except for the under eye I'm gonna take this peaches and cream brush. This is a PC47 brush. It's just a small blending brush. I like to use these brushes sometimes to blend out eyeshadow. If I want to get really detailed on my lid, but mostly for underneath my lower lash line. So, like in my previous videos, we start with darkest to lightest. So I'm gonna grab the darkest shade in the P. Louise Saints and Center palette. We're going to use Hooked. And make sure you always connect it with the upper outer corner so there's no space in between that and I'm going to take a fluffier small blending brush this is the Luxie 237 blending brush and we're going to grab the second darker shade we use in the palette is called pleasure and you're just going to put that underneath
gonna use the same blending brush all i'm gonna do is rub it on a towel that i have here and we're going to grab the lighter shade that we use is rendezvous this is the last eyeshadow that we're going to use Then for an extra pop of pink, I'm taking this ColourPop Cream Gel Liner in Insomniac. Sorry if the ink was off, it's hard for me to do this on camera. Alright guys, so this is the finished eye look. If you guys hear my daughter next to me, we're both sick, she is sick, she just wants to be at her mommy. Um, but I hope you guys like it. I really, really am digging this look. Even without the glitter, it would have been really pretty too. Um, I never really go for pinks, so I think I'm just gonna try to get out of my comfort zone a little bit more. And I feel like this look is just perfect. It's cute, it's simple, it is really quick and easy i only used like what three shades concealer and translucent powder i mean and some glitter i mean it was super easy so um i know this video was a challenge for me to make because i am sick look my voice is just trying to come back but i am really congested right now but i just wanted to feel pretty and i do and i hope you guys like this video if you guys do please comment subscribe to my channel like and share this video with all your friends and family and i will see you guys in my next one bye